Oh, baby, we're back. Subscribe. Whoa, what happened to my freaking animations? We're having, we're having some hard... We're having run into some issues here. This game. I'm actually curious about how many... Uh, uh, statistics. How many missions are left. Alright, we're on 16 of 20. So, five more. So let's power through this. The 111 Club. Staff only. Let's go. It's like I don't work here. I make the same joke every single time. I don't care. I don't go in for letting Is there a new car I could take? Let's try this boy. Let's try this guy out. You're behind the wheel. You heard him, Roy. Parker and Green are going toe to toe for the top job. Ah, some nice ice There's coffee. A change in the wind. About time. I'm gonna listen this to all the story like more. See if I can do flows. better. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Okay, so we have another drug case on our hands. Let's focus. Let's try to get all the questions right. Let's try to collect all the the clues. Let's remember people's names for once. Okay, this is the 111 Club. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Fiddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD. Don't tell me. Vermont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Okay. So definitely you can see how... Find anything interesting? When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. What the hell was going on here? Just shoes laying around. Wrinkles was not one of the things I wanted to do when I grew up. Okay, dead body seems like a good thing that Derek will look into. Just pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. So this guy got shot up like crazy. Okay, another body over here. Headshot. Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Okay, you don't want to acknowledge that he got shot in the head, or? Okay. Let's check out his jacket pocket. Nothing there. Let's check out the other jacket pocket. Nothing there. Check out the hands. Nothing to see here. Let's check out the other hand. Yeah, nothing of suspicion. Interesting. Hmm. Didn't find any morphine on him. There's a safe. They didn't even try to crack the safe. We got some guns, we got some money. So they didn't care about that stuff. <laughs> you're the first in your family born without a tail. That's what I think I've seen it all. Another guy down. Okay. 
check the pockets. This poor guy's got shot up. There's the morphine. Do you have a new source? Or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Circular pocket. Nothing. Anything on... Oh, nope. Nothing on the hands. Nothing there. Let's check the other guy. Other arm. Nope. Come on. Come on, Cole. It's not a user-friendly game on mouse and keyboard. <laughs> Nothing there. Here's the trumpet again. Custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Nothing hidden inside. What's that click? There was a click. more than a trumpet. Got a ticket to the blue room again. We should follow up on the position angle. Can't flip it over. Kept his stash close at hand. Okay, so clearly... He was doing something, doing his drugs. Uh, there's nothing to investigate on that. Put that down. We'll close it. Okay. Hmm. to a carton, hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months' supply. But can we open it to make sure that it's actually cigarettes? Because I got a feeling it's not. Cool. All right. Why the hell they got guns here? These look brand new. Never fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. This guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. This should... I should be able to open this. I don't like that I can't open it. All right, let's do that then. Let's talk to her. Sorry, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative vice squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes, just like the others. Okay, she's lying, and now, what do I have to prove that? No. No. Uh, theft of the U.S. Army surplus materials from SS Coleridge. Okay. Coleridge heist. So I have nothing to say that she would know something. But there's a ton of surplus weapons in the back. Right? No idea. It was my day off. I've been here. Uh, I've been here, honey. I'm full of holes. Okay. So I, I have no proof that she does know, but I know that she's lying. 
You want to level with me, miss? Thank you. Before we start taking an interest in you. This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Eddie is the reason. Okay. Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. I think she's telling the truth. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Okay. So far, so good. I don't see any other... Uh, oh, there's a purse here, but I don't understand like why that would matter. Oh. Can I open it? Usually Cole says, like, take a smarter man than me to connect this to the case. Clearly. Okay. But I thought maybe we can look. Okay. I'm at a loss. Back to the station. We need to speak to someone on the robbery detail. Officer, please tell me what's going on. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. Can you drive to this one? Let's Fine. check out Where the blue heads? room, though. What are, you, what are you doing, Cole? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so we know Eddie is connected to the drugs. He sold a lot, made money from that, was definitely taking stuff in from the war. Um, the blue room is connected because we keep on seeing these tickets with the morphine. His mother was proud of him. Never miss a good chance to shut up. Okay. This guy looks a little overacted. You look like the first generation of your family who didn't was born without a tail. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since what have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries on the stone floor? I'll be speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy, how about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. I'll be honest, I thought she had a French accent. <laughs> now I hear that's a little German. Army surplus morphine. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. Hopheads appear to get a free pass at this club. You all know about the morphine. And how do you expect to prove that? Well, I found the blue room ticket pass. I have a rehearsal to finish. It's time for you to leave. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe. What? I'm. Fuck, dude. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me I is to give me you. an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but the music didn't love him. Okay, she sounds French again. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Now she sounds German again. 
Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, love. Never felt that shit. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs to take it? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. Words are just words, cold letters. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day, you'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. Yeah, what are you up to, Cole? You seem like you have a connection to this woman. All right. Sneaky, sneaky, driving around town. Right, dude, I have the green light. I'm tired of this. Move in. I risk losing the trail. I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm moving in. I think I did a great job this time. bit of a hunch in the back there. Oh, look at the reflection on the, uh, on the rear view mirror, side view mirror. I know also when I was watching the video game awards the remastering jet set radio I'm s I loved that game they're doing a bunch of Dreamcast games and I'm pretty stoked about that Phelps what are you up to It looks like he's proud of him. PD. We're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three. If you'll follow me. Fruit fingers all around, y'all. I like to open both doors. That's one heck of a Sunday. All right. I'll be honest. I'm, like, getting lost now. 
Like, this is where I start getting a little bit of a fog about what the hell's going on. LAPD. We have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine. Just fine. Oh, Mark. it's Mickey. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. This is Cohen. Okay. That's the thing that connected us. Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said Johnny you're a funny guy, Roy? Johnny Stompanato. And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star up on Sugar Loaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Okay. Pinkelstein's drug operation and then the club shooting. But why are we having this conversation? This is Cohen. Cohen is connected. Okay. Got it. And then the, the girl at the place said that Cohen was likely the connection to Eddie. And that's where this was all going down. So that's why we're talking to him. Boom. Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. Okay, he doesn't know anything about what Lenny was up to, right? I'm going to go back. Music album, Valor cigarettes, packed from bulk shipping, bars. Uh, okay. And if this is the other thing with this game, I can't go and look into my notes for other characters, you know? So, so I can't even go and look at other characters to connect to Lenny's. I'm doubting him. So I'm supposed to believe Good. that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolidge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. Okay, so now we know he's lying. He doesn't know any about the shooting. Morphine. Uh, okay. But we... Okay. Let's just... He's doubting. So yes, dude. Let's go! The Club. What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity... Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for schmendricks like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dough. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. Let's put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Okay. It's like cheating. It's like telling me something Phelps doesn't know. Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Whores have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He 
could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the quarry? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. So what did I just miss? In that? I, do you guys follow this like perf like flawlessly? So Cole Phelps, sir, do you know which robbery detective are working the army surplus theft? Okay, so that's why we're talking to this detective, right? Uh, okay, got it. So we just asked about which which cops are working on the army surplus theft. Let's go talk to them. Maybe we can get a little more info and tie it. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, anytime. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Cigarettes. A case of BARs, a case of Thompsons, a crate of Valor Smokes. Homicide Great. just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over here. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, see? I say we bust in there. So how oh. do we connect God the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? How do we connect the... Okay. Uh, I got the jitters again. Parker, okay, we got the Thompson. Mm -hmm. Enough to arm three companies. Boop, boop, boop. This is the crate we recovered. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of LA. Holy shit. That's a lot. Zip rubber bag, heavy duty, canvas stretcher, ammunition, combat there. knife, one gallon of hydrated carrier, and my grand medical pouch. Can I turn the page? Is that a thing? Boarded, disemboarded. From China to. Okay. Who's the person? I gave his wife a cap. I said all stare and um, the Thomas, this is the Thomas machine gun. Going rifles. Row number five. Albert reading. And then we got the cigarettes. Is nine and eleven. Rows nine and eleven. So we got Jack Kelso. And Christopher Malowski. Okay. Usually this closes automatically when we find everything. I gave his wife a cap. I said all stare and love and mm. I want to make homicide. Heavy I mean, duty you know stretcher. You, you think the black boys get in there on the side? I'm doing the cheap thing. I'm cheesing it. I want to make homicide. You know you made it if you can get that desk. Is there people that I should know I say about? we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Nothing there. Do we know these people? Parker will be in. Epstein, McGoldrick, we got back to Kelso. I, I recognize Jack, the I King Kelso. Sheldon, Higgins, Colin. Okay. I mean, I don't see anything else unless you guys do. Uh, some machine guns. You know you made it if you can get that desk. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Hmm. I want to make a promise. You know, these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, but Goldrick. So I did. Goldrick was on the boat. Sure. We Why didn't I get like points Goldrick for finding that out? Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner and Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL is going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want okay. every car. Go! Okay, we don't know if this is connected to the... Uh, to the mission or not. I'm trying to stay alert of that. So we're just being called in for a side thing. It probably will connect us to who had the guns. But now we have proof that stuff is being delivered. 
please tell me this guy can drive there for me. You know the way. You can drive. Bus shooting. Let's go. Let's do it. I like how it's an option to go to the bus shooting. Like, <laughs> yeah, we'll just do it tomorrow. Come on, Roy, get in the car. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. 1384 North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code 3. Okay, let's do this. Cole ain't a stranger to a shootout. Oh, damn. Oh, my God. Dude, get down. Oh. He's got to reload at some point. That's the first time I died in the game. Okay, obviously that's not something I need to be doing. So, uh, uh, we gotta probably push forward. Dude, Cole, what are you doing? All right, I'm not skipping this. It's gonna ask me to skip here. I'm not, no, we're not gonna skip it. Cole's just got to get off the wall. Get some health back. Is that an option? two and two together. You had to time it. But I did shoot him in the head six times, so there's also that. Guys, he's just invincible to build bullets from far away. You know, this this game was groundbreaking with at the time with the face recognition, but there's a little, there's some pieces that need a little love. There's more to see in this gun, you think? Besides that. No, I guess not. Anybody recognize this, this guy? Let's check the pockets. They always got evidence in the pockets. These, these wise guys like to keep stuff in the pockets. Okay. Phone number and restaurant table. Okay, so we got Alvaro, Route 217, Hollywood and Sunset between 12 and 2. Something with 
I guess that's a phone number in your okay. So this guy somehow was connected to something, but it's beyond me. All right, let's talk about the hands. Everybody's hands. Nothing on this hand. You don't have a watch. Some like secret code for me to crack. Okay. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Informed of the Coleridge heist. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Doubt. Oh, 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 oh. Don't like it? Come on, dude. Don't lie to me. I was yes. I was on this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Okay, no information, to be honest. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Felix, you're lying. Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa oh, to come fuck. Up this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in LA? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Uh, wait, okay, let me see something. Was there something in that booklet? He's been under fire before. You buying his story? Pocket recording details the hit Oliver, uh, Alvaro. Note reads CL230. Okay. Okay, to hit Alvaro. And then people. Felix. Uh, that's where I fucked up, dude. Ah, oh, come on, man! I can't be missing stuff like this. This is not what a detective misses. Let's call it in. Hey, stay quiet. Phelps, batch twelve forty-seven. I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment four, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. Okay, we got a Jack Kelso. I thought that lady was naked for a second. You can drive. All Where right, let's going? let's go to Kelsey's apartment. Officer, please tell me what's going on. But let me. Why are we going to Kelsey's apartment? Because his name was well in the, you know the, owner? the manifest. Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled it full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Agree.
Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you could come downtown with us. Do, you like? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. Dude, Jack, we rolled up in a nice car. It wasn't a police car. Well, it is a police car. But it wasn't late, you know, it was uh, an unmarked police car. It just looks like we're going for a Sunday drive. Relax. All right. You know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine. That has nothing to do with me. All right, Jack, let's take a look. We have the manifest, and it says cargo passenger manifest for SS Cool Ridge. The uh, theft of the U.S. Army surplus materials from SS Cool Ridge and San Francisco. Bar, stolen valors, blue. Okay. The thing is, I know his name's in the manifest, okay? Jack, you know about the morphine weren't involved, but you know who is. You can't prove what I know and what I don't know, Cole. This is going nowhere. But dude, your name is in the manifest, and it's, I don't care if this is the wrong question to ask. I'm done with this. Fucking hell, dude. Uh, Ex-Marine McGoldrick. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. He looks like he's telling the truth, guys. I'm sorry. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. I mean, it looks like he's telling the truth again. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 VAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. Okay. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. Okay, now... Okay, he's doing the swallowing and everything. So he's lying? Uh, cargo passenger manifesto for SS Cool Ridge. His name is on it. I'm using it. I'm sorry. Three. Lie. I don't believe you, Jack. You were there. You were either involved or you know who is. You calling me a liar, Cole? I hope you have something to back that up. I won't let you hide behind your rank any longer. All right, come on. You can take me God off fucking you damn it! I'm not involved. Jack, I just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? You're trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump. This $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it, keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Good evening. Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is the Chris Majewski. Another name for the manifest? What the hell is going on? How many more friends of yours are gonna get plugged today? You guys, you guys, attention. you guys get like in the car in the weirdest way. Here comes an accident. Oh! <laughs> we go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men.
just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Let's go. Come on, get after him. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. Come on, you stupid idiot. Him and drag him downtown. Oh my god, this is the end. This is a tough I'm retired after this. No, I'm not hitting the jump. Wow. Yeah, the the, uh, the chase scenes at the end of the game are, are these like... Um, stay close or shootouts or stuff. They actually make them failable before they weren't so failable. But now, uh, go on, get after them. Definitely are. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. The hell am I doing, dude? I thought there was a, work. He's a tough customer. All right, this is this got to be hard to watch. Gone, dude. It's no good. We need to get closer. Jesus. Cole, get out of the damn car. Cole, aim the goddamn gun. Dude, this game is so janky. Oh shit, I thought there was like a movie scene going on. I was just texting my buddy. Cole, you're gonna acknowledge that's another, I guess we don't care anymore. It's just so much evidence at this point. Do, do, do. No, no one we recognize. Hmm. Copy of the uh, manifest. LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team signed to them. Oh shit. You gonna go to the other pocket or what? Mickey's meeting. meeting with Sheldon tonight. Okay. We can we can cut that off. And I'm assuming the hands don't really have anything to show. Okay. Just check the other hand, just in case. Nothing. Okay. Let's check the other guy. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. I don't feel like reading a newspaper right now, to be honest. This guy we can't even look at. Advice? The post office, Cole, and be quick about it. Let's do it. Can you drive to this one? Fine. Where are we headed? The post office. Whoops. All right, guys. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Oh. Why? How does that get them the dough? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. All right, let's end the, the episode there, and I'll catch y'all.
in the next one. Peace.